have this big old pile. Oh my god, they're so squishy. Helping it all, all of this, all of this is gonna get condensed down into, if I can grab it, little mystery bags. All of it's helping. Just need to have the labels printed and put the rest of them together. Ah, it's periwinkle plush. This is just like. I guess you could say the mock because I don't have polyfill yet, so he's full of plastic. But I needed something to be able to take pictures of for the listings, and hopefully in the next day or so I'll get the polyfill and be able to send these babies out to their new homes. I ordered 20 of them! They're already doing well with my patrons, thank you guys so much! Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ashley, Orle Spirit Designs. And I don't even know if you can tell from where I'm sitting, which is not my usual spot in the studio. But my studio is a disaster. 
And I know some of you are going to roll your eyes about that because I've complained about it in the past when you, everyone's like, oh, it's not actually that bad. But it's actually that bad because I'm in the middle of prepping for the shop update, which as I'm filming this is tomorrow, which if you're watching this is today. So go check it out. I've really worked hard. <laughs> And it just, everything feels like it's chaotic. Like this whole last week has been absolutely bonkers between just family stuff and, you know, other things going on. And there's a lot of smoke in the air from the Dixie fires and it's triggering migraines and our house is a mess from helping some family move. And it's just a lot to deal with when you're under your own personal pressures. So I've taken kind of a back seat from most social media um, I can't imagine YouTube is gonna feel it because I only post here once a week anyways, but like I think I'm probably back in TikTok jail and I think I'm already hurting on Instagram. I don't know, I can't tell, but I just really hope that it's worth it because I've worked so hard on this shop update. It's mostly restocks, but there's some new fun things that I'm like adding to my inventory like planner stickers and look who's here. It's Periwinkle and he's a plush pillow. And I think I had showed him previously, I don't remember, maybe in like skinny, just the, the pillow form, but he's got polyfill in him this time. Before when I was taking pictures of him and stuff, it was like bubble wrap, but yeah, so squish, squish, squish. He's so cute and I'm so happy. Some of my patrons have already bought him. So thank you guys for supporting that. And this is honestly triggering like a desire to dive into the plush world. So I might have some secret things planned for, if not later this year, then early 2022, which is weird to say. So there's a lot to get done. I'm like knee deep in making Etsy listings. So let's just get to work.
I want to share with you guys the August Patreon sticker. The theme is Summer Camp Mysteries, and this is the deluxe sticker. You can ignore the white spots. This one's a defected one that I'm keeping. But I wanted to go for like a 80s summer camp vibe with some creepiness to it. So I haven't made, well I've made, but I haven't cut the mini stickers yet. So I'll put up a little thing on the screen here so you can see what those look like all together. But it was very much like, kind of Scooby-Doo-ish is the vibe I was going for. But I just love this, how you see the girl and she's got the flashlight and there's a big shadow behind her and you can see in the hollow what kind of monster it is. So these are available until the end of the month. And I also have some fun Patreon exclusive add-on merch, which I'll put up on the screen here too. Um, the shaker charms are going pretty quickly, actually. I'm really, really pleased with that. But yeah, just a fun little, little cryptid, spooky, summery theme this month. Next month is going to be, um, I don't remember what I called it, but it's like, oh, autumnal witchcraft. And I've got a lot in store for that one. So if you guys want to join my sticker club or any part of my Patreon, you can check the link down below. These were some of my June extras. It's a vending machine shaker charm. I didn't sell any of them.
here I have put all of the pillows unstuffed. I thought I was gonna be able to hang them in my inventory closet, but oh, not with that bend, that's gonna snap. So they're just here for now. I still have to get polyfill for them. And here's a very quick sneak peek of something that's coming in October. Ooh, spooky. So sticker sheet storage is currently like this, this little bin. I've got all the mix in here. I just kind of have to shuffle through. And as soon as I'm done cutting this pile and the pile that I'm going to cut or pick up from my printer tomorrow, this thing's gonna be pretty huge and full. So I'm not gonna wanna shuffle around. So I thought of a really cute idea instead of like, you know, buying page dividers or going out and buying like one of those presses that you can make your own. I thought I would use the thing that I already have. So I just made these, just, you know, little rectangles. So there's four different ones. And I thought I'd just cut my own. So then you've got all of the little, you know, then I can organize them nicely. So last night I got to stuff a whole bunch of mystery bags and I'm really excited about these ones. These are probably my most exciting mystery bags yet. They don't have as much like mo money wise in them as past ones have, but there's a lot in here for only $10. I just need to get the labels on them. But yeah, it's mostly B grade stuff, but it's not like a lot of it's not super stuff that's like flawed that other people would consider B-grade, but it's like B-grade based on how I had them in mind. So, you know, consider that. But there's also retired stuff in there too, so yeah. And I pre-stuffed some of the pillows. So I just have this big old pile. Oh my God, they're so squishy. These are sticker orders. So I've just sorted all of them into like what types. These are all the die cut vinyls. These are the freebies for this month and for however long I end up having them. Uh, these are all the washi labels, sticker sheets and planner stickers, sticker packs. And then these are just packaging, so like the mystery packs and like thank you stickers and stuff like that. So it's, it's a lot of stickers to cut. Our AC unit is so freaking loud and it's right on top of my studio. So when it kicks on, that's like all you hear in the background. So I have to turn all the fans off and everything when I'm recording audio like this and it sucks. Also, I kind of feel like a Cocker Spaniel when I wear pigtails because my hair is so floofy. Oh. So happy Friday the 13th. It is my shop update launch day and you're probably wondering how you're seeing this today and also that I'm recording it today. It's because my new iMac has been extremely efficient in letting me video edit 
in an extremely short amount of time. So yay for that. It was totally worth the expense. But the shop update has gone so well so far that it's easily my best shop update launch day I've ever had, ever. Usually these things stress me the heck out because, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself to put out new and exciting products and I usually get really caught up in like what, um, what sorts of things that I want to make and not really considering like what actually sells well in my shops. So usually my shop launch dates are pretty quiet and then I get really discouraged, but this one has been so good so far that I, I'm, I'm not worried anymore. And I even spent like this whole last week not really posting to social media. So when I started posting yesterday to TikTok to let them know about the shop update, they've actually been doing well. So it's like, this day is actually very lucky for me. Cross my heart and knock on wood because I don't wanna jinx that. So thank you so much to everybody who has supported me so far in the shop update. Thank you to my patrons who grabbed stuff early. There's already some stuff that's like sold out. Like I think the Periwinkle plush is sold out in my shop, but you might still be able to grab it in Etsy. But I couldn't put all of them up for sale because I have to have some for conventions. So I'm sorry if you are not gonna get one this round, but I will definitely be restocking them and bringing them back. So yay, thank you guys so much. This is like incredibly exciting for me. I, I really can't explain it. I also wanted to retouch on the last studio vlog that I did about how terrible July was. And now that it's like mid-August and I'm starting to like catch up into my sales and you know, things were quiet. I think mostly because people were waiting for the restocks, which is great. Um, but I wanted to kind of retract what I had said about how terrible July was. I know and I have known going into this that summertime's usually really quiet for, for small businesses and for e-commerce in general. There's a lot of people who are going on family vacations and, you know, getting stuff together for back to school, stuff like that where people are using their expenses elsewhere rather than for fun. And despite that and despite still feeling like I was really struggling, I did really well, like way better than I expected. And even on top of all the expenses I had and the what I thought was slow sales, I still came out in the green uh, and had money, like I, my benchmark for success currently in this first year of doing this by myself on my own full time is as long as I don't have to dip into my savings to pay for anything, I'm good. And even though I do have some credit card debt that I'm hoping to pay off with convention sales, the only time I've had to dip into that is to make a small credit card payment, just to appease it, because I'm gonna handle that when I have the money to put all on it at, the, at one time. So yeah, I am still coming out ahead and still able to afford my bills and more products and all the other expenses that are coming out. So I have to say I'm really proud of myself for having done that, and I know going into the fourth quarter sales with holidays and stuff, especially when I'm planning a big, awesome, spooky Halloween update in October, I know it's only going to get better from here. So I'm really excited. I'm really proud of myself. And I hope it's been an interesting journey for you guys to see me growing so far. And even though sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm growing at all, I, I am. And I have to like really step back and see what all I've done to be proud of it. So. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey and for making it a success and for making it a reality for me. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out the shop update. You've got all the restocks, you've got some new items, and I've even put up um, all of my Patreon vault stuff, all the stuff from the sticker club up to April 2021. So you can go in and grab extra sticker sets and other exclusive merch that I've given to my patrons. And yeah, go grab those and sell me out because I'm running out of room to store things, please. So yeah, if you've made it this far, drop me 
some kind of celebratory emoji. Maybe it's the the balloon exploding or the popper or something or the one with the party hat when it's got confetti around it because I'm so proud of myself for making this shop launch my best one yet and I can't wait to see where the other ones come from. Oh, it's getting warm in here without the fan on so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week in a tutorial video where I show you how to set up and order shaker charms. So stay tuned for that. Bye. Thank you.